Okay, so again, nothing, nothing really has changed up here. I mean, a little bit change of a of computer. So the old computer literally has just got to that point now where one of the things I don't like. Um, I mean, they're all niggles. They're not. They're not purposely. I don't like them. So is that the Baytrim software run, it will not run on a Windows 7 PC. So if you go, oh, I've got this really old crap PC, I've been wondering when I can use it. Right, you're not going to be able to use it for that, because it has to be Windows 10. But again, no no great sweats. So, I mean, there's plenty of stuff on Baytrim's, um, you know, people have installed Baytrim time and time and time again. So, you know, it is, it is I like the graphics. Uh, you know, and it's really bad. You, you talk about getting bought in, but yeah, I like the graphics. Um, simple, clean, visually. You haven't got to think. You just see, you look, and you go, oh my god, look at this battery here. It's just not performing as it should. And then you actually look at it. All right, so we're 0 0.02 of a difference between this cell and this cell. Yeah, okay, so nothing really to worry about. So what you actually notice is that there is a lot a lot of stuff you can do I notice there's very few things on Batrium's being integrated into systems and then people showing it what it's actually like um, I notice there's a lot of people using Batrium for their own um, charge controllers their own this their own that but but it's never been integrated into say SMA Sunny Islands or Good Wheeze or anything like that they, they don't really want to show any of that um, I, I don't know why. I, I think it's just, you know, people like to look for a way to reduce the cost as low as is humanly possible, or they just get stuff that's not compatible anyway. So I can kind of understand. Um, so, hence the reason why. So what I've done is gone into menu control logic. So control log logic is to do with um, charging, discharging, and more than anything, the control element of the Sunny Gear. So, um, key thing is, is first of all, let's go to the remote. Okay, so, remote is all over here. Now, what you can actually notice is, I don't know, because you can't see from there, see 59.1. Um, the reason is, remember when I said a long time ago, I had to run the REC uh, with one extra cell, and kind of like faking it so that he thinks it was 15 cells not 14 cells and it pushes the information then through to the sunny island the sunny island regulates the charge but what was happening is if i put in here we go there 59.1 that's what i want the charge yeah and don't worry about where it's limited at the moment just forget about that but yeah normal so 59.1 you would have thought well 59.1 will be 59.1 except sunny island sees this 58.1 now this is something you can't change so i was always wondering is that rec's bms or is this sma and yeah it probably over a year and a half i've been trying to get an answer from both nobody's really sure so the good news is now it actually goes to show it is actually in fact the sunny island so i don't know if it's a protocol that it runs it will always run one volt lower than what it is meant to do. So that might be the best way to put it. So it's almost a bit like saying, um, why, why would it want to do that? Because that's the same as if you worked out in voltage, divided down, you're running at about 88% fully charged. In other words, it just cannot get to that, that higher voltage. Um, you know, even as it says there, so target, it's telling it 59.1, the actual, however, 58.1, yeah? And this this was the, the, the problem that we kept having, especially when we were running up for the first time during summer, you know, we just couldn't get it to, to fully charge. It kept getting to be about 88%, um, and you, what you have is the amperage, according to the Sunny Islands, saying, yeah, I can bang through all the amperage in the world, but it, it just cannot do it because the voltage is not high enough. So that's that's kind of like, these are the small things that I like about it with regards to Batrium. So Batrium, you can actually go in there, change it. So like I did from 
58.1 and upped it one volt and so now I have an actual voltage of 58.1 so uh, a bit like saying an offset uh, but I'm not really even now I'm still not really too sure why that is the case I think it is a protocol maybe that is used in place for running off grid so I think they've chosen longevity over of the batteries over the actual um, what what the user actually wants to get out of their batteries you know I want to charge my batteries to 100% I don't not want to um, yes I understand it will degrade it but you know that's what I want you know why is it going to be the other way around you know this is what I want but you'll only be happy with 88% like buying a pizza and getting one slice missing from it it's a bit bizarre uh, what they tell you but that's the best way you'll enjoy it more I, I don't know I, I don't agree with that so you know just a 